this video I'm going to show you the best way to build a footer. So I've been building footers for a really long time. I'm going to show you a very simple way to build footers and where it goes fast, the construction of the form boards is really fast, and you get a really nice product at the end. So the first step in putting in footers is site preparation. So it's really important to have a good base that you're working on and that it drains really well. And so what I did here is I dug down the gravel and then I wound up adding a little bit of gravel um, to make everything uh, to grade. So if you take from here to the other side, which is 80 some feet, uh, it's within an inch. So I backfilled and rented a roller and um, got this pad all set. So now that my site's prepared, I can go ahead and start building these uh, footer forms. And the first thing I did was I marked it all on the ground and I painted uh, chalk lines where the actual footers were going to go. Now this is just a rough idea, but it's really close. And then from there, I laid out my 2x6 boards and I nailed them all together and I built the forms. Well normally I'll use like a 2x10 or 2x8, something a little bigger lumber, um, but for this instance, I went ahead and chose to do something a little bit different because I don't have to have my grade perfect. After I got the form boards done, then I went in and I put stakes down. And then from there, then I went <clears throat> with my transit and I marked grade on all the stakes. And then after I was done, I went ahead and pulled all the form boards up about a half inch to an inch above the mark that's where the grade was. And I nailed them on my form boards onto the stakes. Once that's done, then I can go around and hammer these with about an 8 pound, 10 pound sludge and I can beat these boards down to exactly where grade is. So now all my form boards are perfectly level exactly where I want the top of the concrete to be. So another thing that, you know, saves money. You don't have to buy 2x10s or big lumber. You don't have to pack around big lumber. And then also, these can be reused in the framing process later on. So once they're all done to grade, we went ahead and I had a bunch of reinforced visqueen left over from an old job. And, you know, this stuff is expensive, but uh, there's a company out there that builds these uh, liner stuff for footers. They call it fast footers. And obviously we don't have it here in Alaska, so I improvised. So we went ahead and uh, cut these in four foot width and laid this visqueen in here and then stapled it on the top. And we left enough to where it's going to go down and, and kind of blow out on the bottom of these footers you can see this right here but the concrete should stay inside of this plastic essentially your concrete stays in place you get your grade of your concrete and then also the nice thing too is you can take this and tack that to the inside of your vapor barrier so you don't really have any wicking moisture problems through your footer this way so I'm betting my dream shop on it that this thing is gonna hold so uh, we're getting the rebar put in right now and once the rebar is put in, we got concrete tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully we'll be done with this footer in the next couple of days. vibrated it, then we went out and screeded it off. So 
so our four went great our system worked out to where the uh the 2x6 and the plastic didn't have any blowouts that's good and so this morning we're gonna start stripping some forms and then chalk some lines and hopefully get some blocks done So we put in vertical rebar to tie in the structure that's going up right You know, this new footer that system that we did to put in here works really slick. In the future, I'm going to do this more often because it's quick and easy and you achieve the same thing that you would if you were to build footers a different way. And hopefully this helps you build footers in the future um, and maybe it'll save you some time on your job site. Now we got this, we're stacking block. I mean, we're just rolling right into the next process. So stay tuned for the next video and we'll show you how to do that.